Hi everybody, okay, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to give you a completely fail-safe way to remember these six prepositions. Dia, kata, meta, peri, huper, and hupa. This is in Jeremy Duff's Elements of New Testament Greek. We're in section 4.2.3. And you can see that the tricky thing about this is that not only have you got six prepositions to learn, but each of them can, cover, can govern a noun in either of two cases, the accusative or the genitive case. So you've got to remember six times two, that's 12 meanings. And then you've got to make sure you don't get them the wrong way around because dia means because or because of in the accusative, not in the genitive, it means through in the genitive. So how do you get all of these 12 meanings for these six prepositions in the right order? I'm gonna give you six simple mnemonics. Six simple uh, phrases or things to help you remember what these six prepositions mean. The first key to understanding these, which I'm gonna give you in a second, is to remember what I'm gonna do, I'll give you the meaning of the preposition first. Sorry, I'll give you the, the name of the preposition first, then it's meaning in the accusative, and then it's meaning in the genitive. That's the thing that stops you getting the order of the accusative and the genitive the wrong way around. The mnemonics that I'm gonna give you, give you the preposition, then the accusative, then the genitive. So don't go jumbling them up, half remembering them, getting them backwards. If you remember them in that order, then you will automatically get the accusative and the genitive in the correct order as well. Okay, so without further ado, here goes. And of course, also, he said, without further ado, one more thing. With mnemonics, the sillier the better, because if they're vivid, they'll be memorable. If they're memorable, you'll be able to remember it. So here goes. Dear, I want you to imagine a polar bear walking on thin ice and he falls through the ice. Poor little thing. He's okay, you can swim. But he says, oh dear, because he fell through the ice. Polar bear, oh dear, because he fell through the ice. And you've all seen that David Attenborough film, so I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And the polar bear was fine, he just had to swim a bit further. Okay, that's the first one. Second one, on the animal themes, I've got a beautiful pet cat who always acts according to my instructions, never against them. Beautiful pet cat, catter, always acts according to my instructions, never against them. Number three, meta. I met a man after breakfast with a big hat. I don't know why that one sticks in my mind, but that's the one that my kids remembered. First of all, they never forgot that. I met a man after breakfast with a big hat. Number four, peri. Peri, I want you to think about the perimeter of my garden. The perimeter of my garden. And I'm a terrible gardener. I'm looking out through my study windows now, the other side of the camera, and it's a terrible mess. The perimeter of my garden, when you look around, is very concerning. The perimeter, peri, of my garden, when you look around, is very concerning. That's number four, peri. Number five, huper, huper. Well, huper sounds a bit like hyper. In fact, it's the word from which we get hyper, okay? My first baby was uh, on the way. My lovely wife, Nicole, was uh, slightly groaning under the fear and expectation and contractions and so on. So I drove hyper fast, above the speed limit, on behalf of my wife. I drove to the hospital hyper fast, above the speed limit, on behalf of my wife. That's number five. And number six, finally, hoopa, hoopa. Well, hoopa sounds a little bit like hoop, as in basketball hoop. Don't get it confused with hooper, hoopa. Got the omicron in it, so it's more like a ooh. Uh, ooh, sound like an English hoop. Obviously, that's not how you say it in Greek, but think, hoopa, hoop, basketball hoop. So, you're playing basketball, you want to get the ball in the hoop, and you start underneath, and then you jump up, and you're right by the hoop, and you slam dunk the ball, in it goes. So, playing basketball, you want to get the ball in the hoop, you start under the hoop, you jump up, right by the hoop, bam, slam dunk by the hoop. Okay, six mnemonics to guarantee you will never forget these six prepositions and everybody will think you're a nutcase while you're acting out the, the actions in your exam when you're trying to remember them. Okay, that'll do for now. Uh, keep working hard, 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, 
uh, five, six days a week and you'll have this stuff taped down in no time at all. Any questions and comments, leave them below. Remember to like and subscribe, share it with your friends and we'll see you next time. Okay, bye for now.